the real Amityville Horror House. Before the Lutz family claimed to have experienced ghostly dread there, which served as the inspiration for the Amityville Horror, the cute-looking house at 112 Ocean Avenue was the scene of the gruesome DeFeo murders. I will take you through the insider of the real Amityville Horror House, its story of murder and hauntings. So that being said, as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. On November 13, 1974, one Amityville house on Long Island, New York, underwent a transformation that took it beyond the status of a typical suburban house. Instead, Ronald DeFeo Jr. used a rifle to sneak through the hallways and murder his parents and four of his brothers while they were asleep, turning the house into a horrifying crime scene. Some people still hold the belief that he was hearing evil spirits that lived inside the fabled Amityville Horror House at 112 Ocean Avenue when he later claimed that he heard voices in his brain telling him to kill. Despite the well-known killings from 1974, several families have moved in and out of the home, which is presently listed as 108 Ocean Avenue. The Amityville Horror and other books and movies that were inspired by the allegedly paranormal events that occurred here have kept tourists visiting the house ever since. One of the goriest crimes in recent history was committed by murderer Joseph DeFeo at the Amityville Horror Mansion. Is it conceivable that he was in fact possessed by evil entities who lived in the home and later haunted the Lutz family who moved in? It was this claim, and others, that led many to believe the house itself was haunted. But a closer look at the life of John Joseph DeFeo Jr. provides an alternative reading of the events of his family's ordeal. With an abusive father and passive mother, DeFeo's troubled childhood led to substance abuse as an adult. The parents hoped letting him live at home and with a weekly stipend would help. DeFeo Jr. yelled for help at 6, I think my mother and father are shot. DeFeo left work and went to a bar, where he kept calling his home and complained to patrons about it. He eventually left, only to return an hour later, yelling for help. There were no signs of struggle, nor that they were drugged. No local reports of gunshots were logged, with only the dog barking away as a possible break-in at the home. DeFeo Jr. repeatedly changed his alibi, saying he was at the bar when the murders took place, and then that he was forced to see mob hitman Louis Fellini kill his family. He later admitted to murdering his own family, and on October 14, 1975, he was put on trial. Michael DeFeo Jr. was convicted on six counts of second-degree murder and sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. His defense attorney tried to enter an insanity plea, saying his client was not guilty by reason of insanity, the prosecution argued he was a drug addict. The Lutz family bought the Amityville Horror House in 1975 for $80,000 and moved out 28 days later. The couple believed their purchase of the 4,000-square-foot house was a steal, but fled after terrifying incidents allegedly forced them to flee. George claimed he woke up at 3.15 a.m. each night, the same as the time of death of his family members. Kathy allegedly levitated in bed and green slime purportedly oozed from the walls. Day Anson's 1977 book The Amityville Horror was based on these reported events. The book became a bestseller, while the film grew into a classic. One of the three Lutz children confirmed that the hauntings happened. However, he also said that the events were exaggerated by his stepfather. In spite of his active attempts to conjure spirits and his interest in paranormal activity, George Lutz had a financial incentive to sell his narrative to the media because of the severity of the family's debt. And Weber, DeFeo Jr.'s lawyer, claimed that the whole haunting was a scam that he allegedly concocted with Anson while intoxicated. To this day, countless people still yearn to get inside the house just to get a taste of its supposed terrors. After the Lutz family moved out, the Amityville house was next owned by the owners of Riverhead Raceway. The Cromarties changed its address to 108 Ocean Avenue to stave off stalkers and retain its fluctuating value. Most recently, the house sold for $605,000 in 2017. To this day, horror fans truly convinced by the hauntings still visit the place, hoping to catch a glimpse of a ghost. Hope you liked the video. For more such videos please subscribe to the channel.